everyone, Chris here with the Calgary Home Inspector Corp. I am out in Shawnee Slopes looking at a window installation that's been done by Ecoline Windows. See there's a truck behind me and we've got guys in action right now so we're hoping to catch a couple different stages of the installation process. Doing a little perimeter walk right now, seeing where things are at. What we notice is that this window has yet to be replaced. You can see this old wood frame, how deteriorated it's starting to be. You can see it's starting to come apart at the top there. This would be an older window, low energy efficiency, going to get a lot of draftiness there. And then if we just flip right around to this side here, you can see this is a brand new Ecoline window. They've completely framed it in. We've got a brick mold over top of the stucco and we've got a clean caulking bead all the way around so that we get a nice tight seal on these new windows. I'm just going to pop inside now, have the team installing in progress, so we're just going to see where they're at. <laughs> you can see that's even wedged in there really well, not easy to take out. And yeah, creating problems there. And then if you look here at this sill, that's dirty. You're getting tons of damage here. There's a good chance that you're getting water leakage coming in to this space, damaging this frame. Just looking at this window here on the interior side, you can see there's caulking all around the inside of the window. It's a typical DIY fix when your window's been leaking, it's probably drafty, a lot of air and cold coming through that tries to get repaired that way. Very good sign that this window needs to be replaced. So we just popped this window out. We can see what's sitting in behind. They had insulated around the frame, but it's old, bad insulation. New modern practices, we use low expansion spray foam all around the frame here to get, again, a nice tight seal and the best thermal envelope that we can provide. So as we cut back the paper here to replace it, we're looking at the sill here. You can see there's water staining all along this sill. Uh, this sill might have a little bit of a back slope as well, which you typically want to get that slope towards the exterior so any water that hits here is draining towards the outside. Now in a retrofit, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to adjust this sill without causing too much damage to the surrounding envelope. We can't do a nail fin here without pulling back this stucco, having to repair it, patch it. So we're going to use the brick mold style that is just going to insert, overlap this stucco, and then we're going to seal the entire thing. All right, we caught these guys in progress. since They're applying the 3M right now. So we're lapping it up the jam. We're going to get full seal coverage and lap it up the other jam here. So that's going to form that nice watertight protection. It should any moisture get in behind the window, run down the inside of those jams, it's not going to sit here and deteriorate the wood sill. Here we have the completed installation of a window. Again, this is a brick mold, so it's coming over top of the stucco. We're not doing nail fin, which would tie directly into the sheathing. Brick molding over top of the stucco. This caulking will deteriorate over time, so you might start to see some cracking and separation there. That's normal, it's something that needs to be touched up. It's not something I recommend that you DIY. It seems very DIY friendly, but to get a nice, clean looking caulking line, you want professionals. They just have a way to do it so that it looks nice. You've seen a lot of homeowner DIY caulking, and it's a mess, it's clumpy, it's not smooth. So get a professional in to just do those touch-ups. Just looking at one final detail on this window is the cap flashing at the top. So that's the existing cap flashing already tied in to the building system behind. You can see we just snug this window up underneath it. So again, any water is just gonna deflect right over top of that window. You see a little bit of extension beyond both sides. This is exactly what we wanna see. This is the new window that's about to be installed. Just having a quick look at it. This is where it differs from a nail fin type window that you would see on new construction. We have this large brick molding. That's what goes on the outside here against the face of the stucco so that you don't see any of this rough frame in behind. And the actual window itself is what plugs in 
to that frame. So just up, pop that in. This is gonna cover any of that rough opening and then we just make sure that that has a nice tight seal. So we got another new basement window here. The big thing is it's a little bit of a different type of window. You can see we don't have the brick mold because it's recessed in from the concrete. So this one really just plugs in there. And then the big thing that jumps out, you can see we have a nice caulking line all the way around to, again, just reinforce that we're getting a tight seal. We're not gonna get any wind-driven rain that's driving into that location. Looks like a very well-sealed window from up here. So you can see they're just popping that window in. As I mentioned, really just pops in place. And then that brick mold, again, gonna sit on the outside face. So we'll just finish watching the installation here and see if we have anything else to comment on. So you can see we're right now checking that this window is level. And what he's working on is shimming that up into position so that that window has a nice firm base to sit on. We're just screwing in the frame now, as you can hear. So they've drilled some holes to tie that into the existing framing. And then we'll just pop some caps on there so that you won't actually see those holes once the installation is complete. So you can see here. What he's doing there with the level is just getting this window frame square to the existing drywall or flush, sorry, to the existing drywall. That's gonna be really important when they come and put the trim on here so that it actually fits nicely and you're not getting any gaps in between your trim and your window frame. We even got these guys in the background. He's cleaning this window, making sure it's streak free, I hope. Uh, real quality work there. The next step for these two windows is to install low expansion spray foam around the entire frame. The low expansion is gonna prevent from the foam warping the frame as it goes in. It's just gonna fill that space nicely and that's what's gonna complete our tight air seal. Just putting the final touches on the sill here. I recommend getting in there, getting a good close up. Now, this is gonna be different than the bat insulation that we pulled out because that will actually allow for air movement still. So while it has a thermal value and it's insulating around the frame, it's allowing for that air to escape. This is gonna seal it up completely. So with this gentleman here, he's doing just a little bit of patchwork on the stucco. So you see he's filling in anywhere it broke off or maybe it was missing already. And then they'll just paint that later so that it's a you know, good color match. Just now applying the finishing silicone on the exterior. We saw them start up top there, formed a nice seal between the cap flashing and the window, and then we've just run it all the way down the side. We're going to finish out with these other sides here so that we get a complete seal from the exterior. It definitely pays to be the inspector here. I get to sit on the couch while I just watch these guys do their installation. Right now we're finishing up with the casing. So this is going to cover all of this rough drywall work, the spray foam, so that when this is a completed project, you don't see any of that as the homeowner. I just popped the screen out and I had a much easier time than I did earlier on that old window. Oh, so that's the first win. <clears throat> just looking at the actual mechanisms. So you can hear that latching and unlatching. It's very smooth. I don't know if that comes right undone. Very smooth crank out. See, we've got a nice thick gasket here on the inside of the window. As we latch that back up, that's gonna compress. That's gonna be what forms the airtight seal. Big thing, we always want to latch this back up. That's gonna pull the window in snug, especially in the winter. You're gonna get thermal breaks around these windows. If I pull out a thermal camera in the winter, and that's unlatched, this is all reading that I'm losing heat just from that small detail. So with Ecoline windows, 
what we get is not just a window manufacturer, but they're doing the complete installation, removal, cleanup, and the finishing work right down to the trims. So if this was my place, I would be very happy with this installation. Chris with the Calgary Home Inspector Corp, 